All right, everybody, my name is Rick Uster here with Arrogant Web, and we have the brand new Evanex Viper 30. We'll say thank you to Evanex for sending this out to us. Yeah, I go way back with Evanex. I've been working with them for a long time, and this is kind of like their new awesome thing they got for this year, right? So they came out with the Viper not too long ago, 22, 25 caliber, semi-automatic PCP pistol. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, this takes it to the next level. This is a 30 caliber, so let's go ahead and unbox it. And I know you guys wanna know power, velocity, uh, you wanna know accuracy, we're gonna to get to all that. We're gonna do that out on the range, but today we're just gonna get it out of the box, kinda of look at the features, kinda of take a look at it just in general. So stay with us, definitely you wanna you know, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff so you don't miss the upcoming uh, coverage we have of this. Really quickly, want to say thank you to our Patreon members and also our Officers Club members. And if you guys want to help support what we're doing here, links to those programs will be in the video description. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. So, what makes this unique and special? Well, it's PCP, right? So, we have a relatively small, and I love the way they've done this, because like usually your PCP pistols are like <laughs> big, but this actually has a pretty good form factor, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and get all the bits and pieces out of the box here. Kind of go through all these. And then we'll talk about them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put this away. All right, so obviously there's your manual. If you are, even if you're like, like you think you're super familiar with uh, PCP air guns, you know, everyone's a little bit different. You'll do yourself a favor looking at the manual. One of the things for sure with this is that there's an operational pressure range. And if you drop below that, gun's not gonna work right. And you don't wanna jam it up. You don't wanna damage the gun. So stay within that operational range. And really that's between 250 bar and 100 bar. So if you go outside that, you're gonna find yourself maybe double feeding, well, maybe not double feeding, but it's not going to latch back and probably burp if you've ever been on, if you've ever played paintball or something. When you run low on CO2, there's not enough pressure to, to set the sear again, and it'll burp, it'll go burp like that. This'll do that if you drop below that low pressure. So don't let your gun fall below that, and you'll be fine. It does have a uh, hammer spring adjuster back here. So if you're playing with this, trying to get more power, you may reduce shots. So definitely pay attention to the gauge. They've got the gauge on the side here, which is cool. Pay attention to this. Do not drop below 100 bar. So I just want to emphasize that uh, a lot. So the feel of the gun is very, very nice. The form factor is great. They've done a good job. Just some generic open sights at the top. They're not adjustable. But you know, if I was shooting between here and I don't know, that fan over there, which is maybe 15 feet or so, uh, combat grouping should not be a problem with these open sights. They're pretty decent. They're up high enough above the rail so that I think they're gonna be fine. Now, the way you cock this is you grab the slide, pull it back, make sure we're on safe. Uh, now, if you notice the bolts missing or the bolts slid back not missing the bolts back this fire from the open bolt position so if we were to grab a magazine and drop it in okay so when we fire this doesn't move but what happens is that pellet pusher goes forward fires comes back goes forward fires come back so it's fires from the open bolt position that's why if your pressure drops it may not cock back and you'll get that bounce on the valve so you don't want to do that so it comes with, well, mine came with two single mags and a double mag. I'm not sure if that's the standard loadout, but, uh, you know, that's what it came with. If it does, that's awesome. We got five-shot magazine, so it comes with two of those, and then the double. And the double's cool because if you're in a hurry, bang, 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 you're set. You can maybe get... 10 shots off pretty quickly and not have to fumble around with a magazine. I think that's pretty cool. Weight is really, I think, well balanced. They've done a very good job with this. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. So if you're getting one of these, how are you gonna fill it, all that kind of fun stuff? Well, 
it lends itself well to a hand pump. So you don't have to go buy a compressor. Now this is the Weber compressor. I think these are like maybe less than $300 now. This I use here in the shop. It's not like my all the time compressor, but I use it here in the shop for doing this video work. It's held up pretty well. I don't have any complaints about it. It works really well for me. It's got a built-in uh, converter, so you just it'll run 12 volt or shore power. You don't need another box. You adjust your pressure, fire it up, and away you go. Well, I'll show you how that works in a minute. We're gonna fill this to 250 bar. Uh, we're gonna kind of hear it. I, I can't, I uh, would love to say, these are my dB readings on loudness because I want to actually put the moderator on it. I let you guys, maybe you can hear the difference on the mic. I don't know if you will or not. But I, I don't trust dB meters. And since I don't have an, you know, a sound, an appropriately scientifically approved soundproof room, I'm not going to give you some bogus numbers that don't mean anything. I can kind of tell you like how I think it sounds and maybe that'll be useful to you. But I'm not going to give you dB numbers because they don't, they won't mean anything. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna step around over here. Okay. Turn this on. Fan going. Okay, so we'll hook this up and we're just gonna top it off just so you guys can see how this works. I've got my pressure set here to 250 bar. Let me just double check that. I've got a bleeder in the back. I'm going to shut the, well, I'll start it up, let it run for a minute or two, well, 10, 20 seconds or so. And then I'll go ahead and shut the bleeder. Now I'm putting air in the gun. Well, filling up the hose is going to put air in the gun. Now I'm going by the pressure gauge here. It looks like this pressure gauge says I could maybe have a little bit more. I don't know which one you'd want to go by. Um, anyway, we're just going to leave it like this. Uh, I think we'd probably trust the gun. Let's just say we'll trust the gun, but this looks like uh, I can get just a little bit more. I'm not quite at 250 according to this gauge. Anyway, let's see what it sounds like, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and cock it. Again, this is unloaded. I've already tested all of that fun stuff. Now let's just hear what it sounds like. So this is 30 cal PCP unregulated. That's got some bark to it. Um, let's see what it sounds like with the moderator. Okay, so this moderator, come, it came in the box. It actually has baffles, which are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see those. Uh, I've kind of show it. I see the seam up there. Maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe you saw them. I don't know. <laughs> but it's got baffles, so it's not just a hollow tube. It's actually got some baffles in it, which is pretty pretty nice. It's not one half UNF threaded, so it's bigger. So this matches this, and I don't know. I mean, I've tried a couple other moderators. Uh, I don't know what the thread is, so forgive me for that. But it comes with this one, and let's see if it's got a takes the edge off a little bit. Safety definitely takes the edge off, and I think if I was running pellets, it would definitely make it another make another difference because I think it's going to make it a little bit quieter. It's still got a little bit of a bark to it, uh, but it's more of a high pitched crack now than that thunderous kind of thud. I'm um, gonna try one more time here. Okay, trigger is super nice, by the way. Let me take this off here. We got a cow outside. <laughs> there are, they're searching for water and food out here, open range. Okay, so now we're going no moderator. Yeah, definitely louder. Yeah, definitely louder. I'm not going to shoot it anymore. Um, but there you go. That is... Just a basic on the Viper. Now, what does it come with? It comes with the magazine, comes with the moderator, it comes with a fill 
support if you need this. Sometimes, I mean, nearly everything today is that foster quick disconnect. So I don't know, you shouldn't need that, but in case you have an old hand pump that just has the thread and doesn't have the fitting, you've got the fitting. And then it comes with some O-rings in case you need to rebuild it or replace the breech seal. One of the things with the semi-autos that I would do is keep some silicone uh, oil, like pure silicone oil, and keep your probe lubed. And I think under here, they've got this pretty well greased, as you guys can see. But I would be more concerned about that pellet pusher right there. You guys can see it there, and I'll have it up top here. But you'll want to keep that lubed, because when that goes through, if it gets dry, it'll it'll dislodge this o-ring and then you're you're going to see your uh, velocity accuracy all that stuff will go right out the window so definitely keep an eye on that you want to double check that that o-ring is in there so you definitely double check that and then i would keep this uh, pellet pusher lubed up with just some silicone oil but that's it guys that's our first look here at the evanex viper 30 are we going to get it down to the range oh yeah <laughs> pretty darn soon hopefully over the next couple days, we're gonna be getting this out there. And then you'll have another video coming pretty shortly after on this gun. And we're gonna be looking at, you know, basic open sight use. We're gonna try maybe shoot some steel targets with it. Yes, we will look at accuracy as well. And we'll look at power and all that kind of fun stuff. And we'll try some different pellets and see what really runs well in the gun. It sounds pretty powerful. I mean, it's got a, I mean, it sounds like it's using a lot of air. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get out of this. Guys, that's going to be it for now. If you want to know more about this product and all that kind of fun stuff, definitely check out our posts like at Airgun Web, Airgun Army, or Gateway Airguns. We can have links and all kinds of cool stuff there. Here on YouTube, yeah, I can't share any of that with you because YouTube gets all persnickety about it. So definitely check out our other websites and we'll have all the data you need right there. For now, that's going to be it. Guys, I want to say again, thank you to our Patreon members, our Officers Club members. I want to say thank you to EvanX for sending this out. And also, guys, you know, check out some places like uh, New England Air Guns and Air Gun Pro Shop because they carry these products. So definitely check those guys out too. That's going to be it. My name is Rick Uso here with Air Gun Web. Thanks so much for watching.